YouTube channel banners are a great way to get people to subscribe to your channel by quickly telling them what your channel is all about. And in this video, in less than five minutes, I want to show you how to get really high end YouTube channel banners. I'm going to show you how to get this YouTube channel banner in this video, but there's going to be a ton of different options available because I want to show you how to get these templates. So all you need to follow along with this video is Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, I do have a seven day free trial link in the description below this video, as well as the template website. I'll show you that now. This platform is called Invito Elements and they also have a seven day free trial where you could download everything without watermarks. And all you have to do is you come up here and search for YouTube channel banner. And right over here on their graphic templates, I'm gonna press see more and there's going to be thousands of different options here to choose from. So the bundle I chose basically gave me five different options and then you could quickly customize it. That's all I did. It took me maybe a minute or two to get it to look exactly the way I want. But all you have to do is click on one of them. So for example, this is for gaming channels. And if you press download, again, if you have the free trial, you could still download this without watermarks and take it to Photoshop or I subscribe to this platform personally because I get my royalty free music, video templates, stock video photos, pretty much everything for my YouTube channel comes from this platform that I've used for years, but you can do this for seven days for free as well. Download one of the ones you see. Again, you could browse through all the different types of genres they have. They have it for gaming and just about any type of YouTube channel that you could imagine. You could go ahead and look through these. They usually come in a bundle pack of four or five. Then it's gonna give you a download folder and PSD files are typically what you're going to want to get here. And they look like this if I press spacebar. I got three different options here to choose from. So all I did is I went over here and double clicked. And as long as you have Photoshop installed, it will open it up in Photoshop. And this is how easy this is to customize, okay? Right here it says your channel name. You could just double click the text. Even if you've never used Photoshop before, this is very, very easily customizable. I'm gonna type in my YouTube channel name here. I'm gonna press the check mark on top. And then I'm gonna use the move tool here to just kind of move this in the middle of the page and line it up. And it says subscribe to our channel. And then I'm gonna type daily videos over here and press the check mark. Okay, so that's all I've done so far. Then over here, I'm gonna double click. I create social media videos. I create tech tutorials. And this one I create content creation guides. Okay, and I'm gonna press the check mark. I'm just gonna use the arrow tool here to just kind of make sure this doesn't go off screen. And there we go. And I'm gonna move this one down a little bit to the social media text. So all you have to do is type in exactly what you want. Then here you could add your own picture. So if I come on the right side, I just have to double click right here on this box. A lot of them are going to let you drop your picture right on top. So I already have a picture I know I wanna bring in. Here's a screenshot that I just took from one of my videos. Again, you could do this with something from your phone. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of stretch this out to fill the screen and I'll press the check mark. And then I'll go ahead and save this one. I'll go press save. And if I come back to the original, you could see it's put it right exactly where I want. So I just had to open that, save it. Now I could close it. And this is it, this is my finished thumbnail. All these elements though that you see, you could turn any of them off. So if I go to this graphic panel, if I wanna turn off any of these shapes, for example, I could just go ahead and turn them off just like that or replace them with other type of shapes. So I actually don't like this one. I'm gonna double click this one and make it a bit bigger over here. So I'll use the font size and press okay. And I'll move this right over here, there we go. Now I just have to save it outside of Photoshop so I could bring it to YouTube. So I'll go to File, Export, and I could export as. I'll choose JPEG over here, and quality as six is fine. It already knows the size because I used the template. I need to start from scratch, and I'll press Export. Now inside of YouTube, all I have to do is press my profile picture, go to my channel here, and this is my current banner, and I just have to press this option right here. And right here, banner image, this is where you press change and upload yours. If you do get any kind of warning, just make sure you go back to Photoshop and make sure you have your canvas size exactly what YouTube wants. Sometimes they do want a different number here. 
if you got some of the templates that don't have the exact same size YouTube wants, they do change this all the time on what you can upload. And I'm gonna go ahead and shrink this down so I could actually get exactly the portion I want here. Viewable on desktop. This section is viewable on all devices. And this is viewable on TV, what I want. So I'm gonna press done. And this is gonna become my new channel banner here. I just have to press publish on top and it will show up on my channel. All the resources are in the description below this video. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you next time.